Hey everybody, welcome to Tipping on Tuesday. Man, I've got a treat for you today. I'm going to take this old GMC tab, this old Buddy L here. This got the tabs and everything broken off the off the cab and no way to really mount it. And I'm going to show you how to trim all this down and make it fit basically whatever frame you want to put it on. Today I'm just happen to be using a Strutco frame. So stick around, hit that like and subscribe and the notification bell and I'll be right back with you. <laughs> Well, fellas, welcome back. And I guess the best, let's just go on and dive right on in here. So what I want to do here is the tabs are broken off on the back of this cab. I really like this cab, and it's got some really good sentimental value to me. And it can't really do nothing with the front of it either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it work on this old Strutco frame. It's a pretty big frame, but you can see it's got the holes in it right there. For the tab for the cab to mount down and then what i'll do once i get that mounted down then i'll just set this down over the front and i'll just run me a couple of rivets in it my grill the little bottoms there broke off so i'm not really going to worry a lot about that it's just a rat rod fellers and it's going to be on the shelf kids ain't going to be playing with it or nothing so i'll just run me some rivets in there and hide all that and maybe glue this on or something i don't know it's ratting that's how we're going to do it but the first thing i need to do though is I need to set the back of this cab down over the frame. And it already fits it width-wise pretty good. So I got my holes right here in the original frame. As you can see, or sorry, as you can see, I got my original holes in the frame there. So what I'm gonna do is, let me see if I can raise this up here where you can watch me. All right, so I got, there's pretty close to center, right there. And you see my two holes right here for tabs. So basically what I'm gonna do is I got my cab pretty centered up and I'm just gonna mark where them two holes are, where those holes are. Just like that. And I'm gonna come on up. Now what I need to do is, I need to determine how much to cut out. So I'm gonna drape that down and that's gonna be right at seven sixteenths of an inch. So now let's come up here I'm right off of that. Get that lined up. And I'm just going to mark it right there. I'm going to come over here and try to do the same thing here if I can hold it. Close enough. Now, I'm going to go make my mark all the way across. There, now I've got my cuts. Best way to do this that I've found is with, these are called Jilson shears. I'm sure you, if you've watched my videos, you see them in just about every one of my videos and I, I rant and rave on them. Well, here you go, fellas. This is what they're really good for. I'm about to watch them in action. I've got me a notch cut out right there and right up to the bottom of my line. Now this is going to be my tab. So I'm going to start again right here. But before I do that, I'm going to put me a cut on this side. Right here. Well, a little bit further. That'll work. Now let's start over here. Yeah. 
Keep watching, fellas. I'm going to show you how to do the rest of it. I just need to get me a gap cut. Now, once you got your little gap cut right there, big enough for your blade to go in, you can come at it and just go straight across. Thing is, fellas, when you use these, you get a real nice, pretty cut. Now, mine are old. There you have it. Now, I need to do a little bit more work on the front and get that up in there like that. All right, guys, there's one more part to this, and well, it's really, really simple. So, what I've done here, I got my back strapped down, got my tabs bent over to where it's holding onto the frame. And then I tried to level it up and get the bottom of my frame here or the bottom of my cab lined up level with the bottom of my frame because of the bed I'm going to make for it, which is going to be Friday night's episode. So make sure you tune in Friday night, seven o'clock, the new episode of Hunkin' Nuts coming out. But anyway, so I've got it clamped down here in the front. And what I want to do is I'm just going to run a couple of pop rivets in there and hold it on. And then we'll put some wheels on it, see how it see, see how she looks. All right, so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold my truck in place with my hip. I'm going to mark my two little holes right here for my, my two little spots. Take my one eighth drill bit. And I got my little one eighth rivet. Guys, here she is with the wheels. Oh, let's throw the grill on there too, huh? Make it look all mean mugging. There we go. So we got our cab on. And it ain't going nowhere. My wheels keep falling off, but that's okay. I just need to bend the other end of my axle, that's all. So make sure you tune in Friday. And see what we have in store for this beautiful truck you might be surprised you might like it this is a tribute truck to a very very good friend of mine that i lost last week so make sure you tune in i'm going to make this a very special build it's going to go on my wall of fame behind me and it'll never go anywhere thank you everyone for being here thank you for being a part of hunkin junk and liking and subscribing and all that good stuff every single view counts i really sincerely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart Thank you very much. And make sure if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell for me so that you don't miss out on any more of the content. Thank you guys for being here. Y'all have a great day.